I had a normal childhood growing up. We grew up in Fraser and Raleigh, and I think, you know, we had just had a simple blue collar lifestyle. Two, two parents, I had a brother of mine, and uh, both parents were always working, so we did a lot of things differently than most people do today. We had chores, that's the way we earned our money, and so it was pretty simple upbringing. I would say it took a lot of people with a lot of patience to help get me where I am today. I, wasn't always the best student in high school. Started doing what I was supposed to do, and I lost a parent early in my high school career uh, due to a health situation. And I always figured I had to do everything on my own, so just kind of figured it out late, late in life, and uh, started doing what I was supposed to do. And that's kind of just blue collar work. It. I would say I coached for 16, 17 years. I coached and taught for 16 or 17 years at Houston, Bolton, and Treadwell High Schools. And I, I would say the reputation of Arlington when it was still young, which was probably 1999 when we first moved out here, the reputation of Arlington and what, what the possibilities could be. Arlington as an assistant principal is where I started out for six or seven years. So it advanced throughout you know, the last few. I would say the death of my father uh, when I was, a, like I said, a junior in high school. Losing a parent is never good but at that time in life I was just 16 years old when that happened my mom had to raise my brother and I both and I knew the struggles that she went through and we tried to do everything on our own you know not I tried not to ask for money and do those things that's where I learned a lot of my work ethic and um, that's it's always a traumatic experience losing a parent so I just learned how to do everything on my own basically it was probably my mom you know doing the <clears throat> she struggled raising both of us and working a full-time job after my passing of my parents, so I would say her. Yeah, I love the profession I'm in. I love working with the students and teachers, and you know, things are not always great in this profession, but however, you know, that's why I come to work every day is for the relationships with the kids. I do, we normally spend a lot of time together. Uh, I have 24-year-old triplets that graduated from Arlington schools. Like, they went out here from K through 12, and they're all graduated college now and in the workforce doing what they studied to do. So it's, we're very proud of them and the work they put in to get where they're at. That's a tough question there. I have a lot of good memories from my childhood. Obviously there was only one traumatic experience, but I would say winning the state championship in high school as a baseball pitcher, uh, getting to pitch that game in front of a big crowd and after being a runner up two years prior, just goes to show that, you know, you keep putting in the hard work, sometimes it'll pay off. Uh, I, I, the most traumatic was obviously the death of my father. Uh, probably taught me to, to be the man I am today, I guess. Uh, that was never easy because I was always an angry person after that happened because I always wanted to blame God for taking my parent away way too soon because he was a very good man. Um, learning how to deal with that anger throughout the years and, and using it as a means of motivation kind of taught me you know, how to deal with that anger in the best way.